Hi Linda, this is Colton with North Island Nissan. I wanted to make you a quick walk around video on the 2018 Nissan Rogue. This is the base all wheel drive model. Now they do come with quite a few features, but if you do want more, let me know and we can look at the model up. I figured we'd start here though with a quick video. Um, so looking at the front of it, you do have the LED running lights, which are really nice. Those are the ones that people coming towards you will see very crisply. I'm going around the wheels on this vehicle. They are steel wheels with hubcaps, 17 inch uh, rims. Looking at the mirrors, there is a pedestrian blinker light here, so anyone walking on the sidewalk can see you when you're taking a, a corner. Going on the inside, you do get Nissan's very comfortable zero gravity seats. It is a cloth interior in this model, but it's an easy to clean cloth material. It has a nylon mix in the center here, so if you do spill anything, and it's nice and easy to wipe away. Um, then there's tons of other features that I will go around when we come around to the driver's side. Uh, you do get the leather wrapped armrest and the center console as well. Now the back seats are interesting because they're actually fully adjustable. So here you can see that one is kind of stuck straight up. Uh, and so you'd be kind of stiff sitting there, but this one you can actually lean it back a little bit further Just with the one on the, the switch on the armrest here And so you can either stand it straight up or you can lean it way back And then there is also a bar up front here that you can use to slide the seats forward and back as well So if you need more cargo area, you can slide the seats forward if you need more leg space You can slide them back. Um, so that's really cool that they're fully adjustable. Not a lot of vehicles this size have that It is a hydraulic lift gate. So once you get to a certain point it kind of just takes off by itself and lifts up uh, the cargo area back here is kind of interesting as well. So they call this the divide and hide cargo system. So there's two panels here that you can actually lift up for extra storage space underneath. Right now I've got the floor mats tucked underneath there. And so both the panels lift up. Uh, this front panel can go straight up and down. And so that's the divide portion of it. So if you have anything that might be rolling around, you can actually kind of keep it in here like a soccer ball or something, for example. Um, and then it doesn't have anywhere to go. And you still get storage space behind that as well. And so that's where it kind of divides it. Now this back panel is a little bit larger and you can actually lift this one up top here and create a shelf up top. So if you have like, see you have kids or something like that and you have a stroller, you can stick the stroller underneath and then still get storage space uh, on top there. So it's a very versatile uh, storage system. For myself, I have a German Shepherd dog that sits in the back on the divide and hide system here. I got a little cargo mat for him and it's great because with him sitting back there and taking up all the space, I still get storage space underneath as well. So I can still utilize the back of the vehicle, which is very nice to do. All right, now coming around the driver's side, I'll hop in and go over a few of the features in it. So it does have power locks, windows, and mirrors. On the driver's seat here, you can raise it up and down. It is manual controls. This one here is for the backrest. And of course, you can slide it forward and back as well. Now the key in this vehicle, you do have the remote unlock and lock. There's the panic button there as well. And then that little button flicks out the key. Just makes it easier to store in your pocket when it's folded in like that. And then there is Bluetooth calling and audio on the vehicle. You do have your cruise control. Of course, there's air conditioning in the vehicle. Down to the left of the steering wheel, there's an eco mode and a sport mode, as well as an all-wheel lock. Um, the all-wheel drive will work automatically, but if you know you're going out in snow, then you can lock it right in. They did add Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is really nice this time around. So if you do have a smartphone, you can hook it up. You can get the navigation going on your phone, which is really great. Um, and then of course you can see kind of the Bluetooth audio down there. You do get a trial period with the Sirius XM. And real quick, I'll put it into reverse, show you the backup camera that comes up. So it's a nice wide backup camera. The orange line there shows you where you're pointing actually. So if I move the steering wheel, that orange line moves with the steering wheel there. So it makes it really easy to reverse, but it does take a little bit of getting used to if you never had a backup camera before. And then the temperature controls are pretty straightforward down below, fan strength on the left, temperature on the right, and then all of your different modes in the center there. There's a USB port, auxiliary port, and 12 volt plug-in. And there's a manual mode as well. So when you're in drive, you can shift it over and then you can manually shift up and down through the gears. And last but not least, you do have the heated seats uh, right in front of the center console here. Um, so front passenger heated seats. And yeah, so there's tons of vehicles in the base model. If there is any specific features that you wanted to have in the vehicle that I might be missing in this one, just let me know. I'd be happy to show you the model up. And if there's anything specific on this vehicle that you want to see, again, let me know. I'd be happy to make you another video or even snap a few pictures of it. But I hope you enjoyed this one and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.